is so very easy. My name is Laura and there's something to be said about a beautiful spring day and a nice juicy bowl of strawberries. Let's copy that feeling in a quilt. The pattern is a free downloadable pattern from Sweet Bee Design Fabrics and it's strawberries. The fabric is also Sweet Bee Designs. We have this lovely red and greens, golds and grays, and on the border we're going to have these two fabrics, some bicycles and big strawberries. I'll put a link in the description for the download so that you can cut out all of your fabrics. I like to have all of my fabrics cut out before I start. That way I know that number one, I have enough fabric. If I've made a mistake, I'm able to correct it. And it's ready to go when I'm ready to go. I'm going to start by making the flying geese. I'm going to need a two and a half inch by four and a half inch and two and a half inch background squares. Let me show you how easy it is to make flying geese. Each block is going to start with a two and a half inches by four and a half inches. It's going to remain that size throughout the entire sewing. You will need two two and a half inch squares. When it's sewn together, it's going to give a unit that looks like this, but we need to mark these squares. Draw a line corner to corner on all of the top two inch squares. We're going to sew one block on at a time. You will need to match up the three edges and stitch right on that line, but I would recommend stitching right beside that line. The thread is going to take up just a little bit of the space and the block will square up a lot easier if you go just onto the other side. You can test that block by folding it back along that seam. These edges should match up. Then we can trim off this triangle. When that piece has been cut off and it's folded back, this piece now measures two and a half inches by four and a half inches. So we've lost no size in this block. Press the seam going to that small triangle and finger pressing will probably be all you need. The next is going to be sewing on the next corner. I'm going to want this triangle inside, so I'm going to need to make sure that the line is going in the right direction. If I have the line going in the other direction, the piece is not going to be the triangle. Match up those three edges and stitch right beside that line that you drew down the center so that you're stitching onto the outside of the triangle. When that seam has been stitched, if you fold this back, this top piece should match the bottom piece. We can now trim off this little triangle. When it's trimmed off, we end up with a two and a half inch and it still is four and a half inches. We need to make the flying geese units out of all of the 32 inch two and a half by four and a half. These units combined with a half square triangle in between, it's going to make that top little green of the strawberries. To make the half square triangles, take your two and seven eighths inch green squares and the background squares, draw a line corner to corner, stitch on each side of that drawn line, cut it apart and press it towards the green. Now you can do this half square triangle in your favorite method if you want. You can make it larger and trim it down. And this combination is this part in the pattern. Next we need to take all those long strips and turn them into strawberries. We'll be making four strawberries from each color family. Two of them are going to be one way and two are going to be the other. We're going to have four of each of the fabrics that we cut at two and a half inches by eight and a half inches. This is going to make both sides of the strawberries. We need to sew some corner units on to give that strawberry a round shape. So each strawberry is going to have two sides and they need some diagonal corners sewn on. The corner pieces are going to be sewn on the same as we did the flying geese. You're going to draw a line from corner to corner on that small square and stitch on that line folding back. And when you do that to both corners, it's going to create this curved shape. It's important that we keep both the points going in the same direction and that we don't take them and put one on the other direction because it totally changes the look. We need all going in one direction. This will work on 
the one side, but when it's turned, it will work on the other side. So we can take this entire strip and sew on those corners. And we will have a total of 32 of these units. If you're using a fabric that is directional, very much like this fabric that has writing on it, you'll need to separate into two piles. So you have your angles going in the right direction. And that way you won't happen to have any of the words upside down. So I'll start with these. The angles are going to go in one direction on one pile and in the other direction in the other pile. That way I will have two equal sides. Now I can trim off the ends and get all the other corners stitched on. The fabric that reads as a solid can go on either side. The center strip remains the same and the sides have that curve to them. We need to do the two long pieces that are going to go in between. Keep in mind the direction of the fabric. You will need to put a green on the top, a white on the bottom for both of the sides. We can already see the shape that this is taking. The sides are shorter than the rest and that is where some little white background fabric squares are going to be put. We'll just be able to sew those right onto that end. With those put on, all of the strips are done. With all of the units sewn, we now can build the strawberry. The three pieces for the strawberry top will be sewn together and the seams are going to be pressed out. To sew the strawberries together, we're going to change these two middle pieces. We want to keep the strawberries of the same color but just different fabric. So in this case we have the gray and we're still going to use the gray in the strawberries. So the two that were taken out are going to match with the other grays. So all the grays are going to go together, all the reds, all the yellows, and all of that soft beige. And we're going to be able to sew the strawberries together in this way. When they're sewn together, you're going to be able to press all of these seams going towards the center piece. We now have these beautiful strawberries. They are not squares. They are nice, big rectangles. The quilt is going to be put together in long rows. And the strawberries are not going to line up straight. So we're going to have a large piece of fabric, four and a half by ten and a half in the bottom, that same size piece up at the top on every other row and in between each strawberry we have a two and a half by ten and a half inch and that's going to stagger those strawberries. We can follow the placement and put those little strips underneath the strawberries just as the pattern is showing us or you can change them however you want. You need two strawberries with the large piece at the bottom and two strawberries with the large piece up at the top. Now we can sew them together in four long rows. Each of these rows are going to be sewn together with some sashing and the sashing is cut at an inch and a half by 58 and a half inches long and that's going to join all of those rows together. The body of the quilt is done with all of those nice big strawberries. We have one border to add on all the way around. We have that last outside border to do. We have strawberries that are going to go on each side and the bicycle fabric which is going to go on the top and the bottom with these nice big red corner stones in them. The top and bottom fabric, the bicycle fabric, is cut at five and a half inches and it needs to be at 43 and a half inches. The strawberry pieces at five and a half inches and we need a total length of 58 and a half inches. So you're going to have to join some pieces in order to make those strips long enough. And those corner squares are at five and a half inches. The bicycle fabric is a directional fabric. So you'll have to be sure to have that both going in the right direction for the top and the bottom. And the red corner stones at five and a half inches will go on the four corners. I now have juicy strawberries to go with my nice spring day. I'll put a link in the description to the free pattern. 
Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.